when the video come out that the DA tried to suppress that my legal was now involved in. Show your face. Show your face, please. Look with dirt on top. Hey, what's up, y'all? Y'all know my slogan. I don't know it all, but I know what I've been through. Now, before we get into this video, please make sure you head on down to Instagram and follow us on our official Instagram page at hookah anonymous underscore. We're able to be a little more explicit, a little more uncensored, and share content freely without running the risk of having our channel terminated. So, once again, Make sure you head on down to Instagram and follow us on our official Instagram page at hookah anonymous underscore. We're almost at 100,000 subscribers. So if you like this video, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell so you notify every time we drop new content. Now let's get into what you guys came here to see. Now, at this point, I think we all know Tory Lanez did not shoot Meg the Stallion. All right. But for whatever reason, with every type of hold that's been involved in Meg's story, they still ended up remanding Tory Lanez, and you have a lot of people that are just left confused. From witnesses saying it wasn't Tory, Kelsey pleading the fifth, Meg being caught in lies on more than one occasion, Tory's DNA not even being on a weapon or any gunpowder being on him, but somehow, someway, Tory was still charged. Now, the thing about these situations involving these celebrities, people don't base their opinions off logic or common sense. They base it off emotion, and whenever you put emotion over intellect, it's a recipe for disaster because you're leading with feelings instead of facts. As far as the facts are concerned in this case, Tory shouldn't have been convicted and faced 20 years because in a nutshell, Meg lied from the beginning when she stated that her and Tory was never even involved with each other intimately, which we knew was a lie, but once again, people's logic go out the window whenever it involves their favorite rapper, athlete, singer, or anyone that they idolize, period. Now just think about it. If Tory was a son of yours or a family member and they received the same treatment as he did, would you still have the same feelings? Oftentimes we dismiss things because it didn't hit close to home, but when you dismiss blatant injustice, you leave room for it to potentially happen to you or someone close to you in the future. However, today we'll be talking about WAC 100, alleging that he got new information in regards to the case of Meg Thee Stallion and Tory Lanez that proved that Meg lied along with a video recording from an Asian lady who captured everything and he's seeking an apology from everyone who sided with Megan. Hmm. Now first and foremost, can we trust anything that Wack says? Barely. <laughs> right? I'm just being honest. We know that Wack isn't the most credible person in the world and have been caught on many occasions lying about things publicly. But. As the saying goes, even a broken clock is right at least two times a day. Now, before I let y'all hear what WAC 100 had to say on Clubhouse, let me remind y'all that there was evidence that Tory Lane's defense team claims was left out during the trial, and that's the same evidence that was rumored to be purposely left out by the courts. This is why Tory Lane's father was going crazy outside of the courtroom at the time when the verdict came out that he was guilty. Now, to my knowledge, this was the same evidence that Tory's team was banking on to get him approved for the appeal, in which we later found out he was denied of. Now, I'm not sure if what WAC 100 is referring to is the exact same evidence that was left out because it hasn't been confirmed. However, I'm just making y'all aware of what's going on so y'all aren't lost when it comes to evidence that was left out during the case. So when you hear about it, you know exactly what they're talking about. We just don't know if it's the same evidence WAC is referring to, if that makes sense. But anyway, here's an audio of WAC 100 speaking on his sudden evidence he claims to have or that's out there, which he wants an apology for when it's finally presented. Y'all check this out. All I'm gonna say is this. When the video come out that the DA tried to suppress that my legal was now involved in, there will not be a no more Meg Thee Stallion. Oh, shit. Clip it. Clip that shit. The appeal is coming. When the video comes out from the little Asian girl that followed them from the time they saw him arguing in the car that the DA tried to suppress and threaten their family with all kind of other shit, 
Shout out to the private investigators. I want to see what the Magistrate fans are going to say then. I want to see are y'all going to counsel her for lying and putting that black man in jail. We're going to see. Now, I don't know what WAC 100 role is in the music industry because it seems to me that he just causes destruction in the game amongst these artists. He went from being blue face manager to just a man that's steady in everybody's business. I personally think he's an agent or a plant purposely placed in the industry to do exactly what he's doing now, but we'll get back to that. A very key part of this audio, Wax said, when the video come out that the DA tried to suppress that my legal is now involved in. Now, first of all, what does he mean by his legal and why would Wax legal anything be involved in the Meg and Tory's case, right? Why is he making it his business to get involved in their case legally? And on what grounds is he able to do so and why? And I'm confused because what information or how is WAC able to obtain any information pertaining to this case that can help Tory, that Tory's legal representation couldn't get themselves, right? So you mean to tell me that Wax attorney did a better job at getting Tory a chance to get out of prison than his own legal team did? <laughs> right? Like, what's really going on here? But that's just one thing. Now, another key part of this audio, Wax mentions that there was a little Asian girl that followed Tory and Meg the time she witnessed them arguing in the car and caught a video of the whole ordeal, and the DA tried to suppress it and threaten the girl's family to prevent it from ever coming out. Now, he says, shout out to the private investigators, right? So I'm sure, I don't know if whether Tory Lanez hired a private investigator. I think he did because that was something that was stated during the trial that he had his own, you know, his own private investigators. And here's my thing. If this is a video that does in fact exist, on what grounds were the DA able to suppress it and why, if it had potential to shift the whole case? You know, what made the courts not want to see a video with potential visual evidence pertaining to a shooting case that can prove who's right and who's wrong visually, right? It's not about his side, her side, or anybody's side. The facts are the facts if you have that type of evidence. So why wasn't it ever presented? And not to mention, where did the little Asian witness come from, right? Let me tell you right now, I don't know too many Asians that's going to follow an altercation and record it for whatever reason. Right? If they seen an altercation going down, nine times out of ten, they're trying to get far away as possible. So what made this witness follow them and record the whole situation? How was she able to do so if they was in the car as well? You know, and who is this little Asian lady? He just said Asian lady or what? I don't know. And was she the only one with a video? You know, because all this was, quote unquote, taking place at Kylie's pool party or whatever i'm sure it was a lot of people around and it happened in the street and it was a big commotion in the neighborhood like that so nobody else have any type of account of anything that happened no no video no audio no nothing then if y'all remember they said kylie was also supposed to testify in which we never seen i think she would be the main person because it's her party they said she was there they said she's seen things too why wasn't she ever put on the stand to testify or why we never heard anything from her neither? You know, so it's a lot. It's a lot of gray areas in this whole situation, man. Now, if there's actually a video out there that can help Tory Lanez, then I hope it comes out so the truth can be exposed, whether he was wrong or right. Right. Because a video, there's no lying with visual proof. It's just one way. It is what it is. But once again, out of all people, how is Wack the one able to obtain whatever video involved and why is he at the forefront of this whole situation? But this goes back to the industry plant and agent stuff I mentioned earlier. Some of y'all may or may not agree with this and may think it's just a conspiracy theory, but it's a known fact that there are certain artists or just individuals, period, that's been placed in the entertainment industry known as industry plants to carry out certain agendas. They could be right in your face and you would never know. Now, you may not be able to confirm it 100%, but when you pay attention to certain people and their actions in that industry, you can clearly see that they have an agenda. WAC 100 and everything he's involved in is always drama, always controversy, always having some news or stirring something up, right, between two people. 
Now, I personally think he's placing that industry to keep the destruction going, and he's doing a hell of a job at it as well. Just think about everything he's been involved in, whether it's 6 9 or him calling out the Chicago guys at one point in time, right? Or Christian Rock, Blueface, 42 Doug and Offset, the most recent, him and Nipsey, him and Big U, him and the gang. The list goes on. Just recently, it was exposed that he was sent by Birdman to try and slam the BG name once BG decided not to do the deal with Birdman, and that's when all the snitch allegations came out of nowhere. And then now, him out of all people announcing a video that's supposed to come out that will help Tory Lanez get an appeal and make Meg look bad. Right? So, I, I don't know, man. Like I said, maybe it's just me. This is my perspective. This is what I think about it. Um, it's a lot going on. We know from the beginning in this situation, Meg's story was just off. Whether you want to believe she lied or, or, or she's lying or not, the holes in her story prove that something isn't right. Now, I guess we'll just have to wait and see and um see what the video may prove. At this point, Kelsey was already granted immunity. So let's say that Tory Lanez does get released. Who would get charged next? Right? Who would they charge? So... I don't know, just be careful what y'all see out there and what y'all interpret as true or what you decide to go with. Just know that everything is not what you think it is, especially in that industry. And sometimes you just got to do your own research, do your own due diligence, right? These days, the entertainment world, period, is just one big WWE show and everyone's just playing their part. But if you pay attention, the signs are in your face. But anyway, y'all jump in the comments and let me know what y'all think about this. What y'all think about Wack alleging there's a video floating around of the altercation that may help Tory Lanez and put Meg in a bad spot? And what do you think that video will prove? All right, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you're notified every time we drop new content. And remember, as long as you keep on watching, I'm gonna keep on dropping, and I'm out. <laughs>